Hey everyone, welcome to General RV's 2020 Virtual RV Show. My name is Jake Brown and I will be your host as we explore the brand new RV models with our industry insiders and RV experts. This is your chance to bring home the RV of your dreams as we will be running RV show prices all month long. General RV is your ticket to savings with RV show prices in store and online for a limited time only. Save thousands on our huge selection of luxury motorhomes, spacious fifth wheels, and family friendly travel trailers. Shop safely on our massive lot or explore our virtual RV show right from home at generalrv.com. New RVs are rolling in every day, but hurry, just like our inventory, these exclusive RV show discounts won't last long. It's all at your premier RV dealer. Visit your local General RV Supercenter. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. Today we're gonna to have Matt and Andrea from Matt's RV Reviews walk us through the brand new 2021 Fleetwood Discovery LXE Class A Diesel. Thanks, Jake. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt. I'm Andrea. And today we're taking a look at the all new redesigned 2021 Fleetwood Discovery LXE Model 40M. You know, Matt, the Discovery LXE is one of my favorite motorhomes. Absolutely. And with the new redesigned interior, I know you're going to absolutely love it. Let's check out the inside and then we'll take a look at the outside. I'm so excited. Gosh, this is beautiful. Wow. Look at the floor. I absolutely love it. Let's quick take a quick 360 if we could and just show everything that's going on in this motorhome. This is gorgeous. Absolutely. Cool. What better place to get started on a diesel pusher than right up front? Oh my goodness. Wow. Super comfortable. Absolutely. So this is the new redesigned digital dash. Right? Push of a button. It's going to come on. You have your tilt to view steering wheel right here. Not only does it tilt up and down, it tilts in and out. And I love the digital features right here. Also, it has a, this is a 380 horsepower Cummins engine with a 3000 Allison transmission. Another new feature for the current model years is this transmission switch. Wow. It used to be the Allison push button and now it turns like this. You have your mobile eye collision mitigation, cameras on your left side, right side in reverse, so you can see everything what's going on on both screens for you. It is really cool. And Andrea, yes. you know what makes a diesel pusher? Yes. What's that? The air horn. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not a diesel pusher it. without the air horn. I love it. How's your co-captain seat? It is seat? really comfortable. I, I know these swivel. So you sure got do. extra seating and you got a footrest. Absolutely. It's really comfy. Fully powered passenger yes. seat, swivels to become part of the living area, and you can adjust it for ultimate comfort. All right, Matt, let's take a look at the living room. All right. Oh, I love this. Check out a three seater sofa. Absolutely. There's also a mattress underneath there if you do need additional sleeping area. You have your TV right there on a televator. Look with at this cabinetry. Very nice cabinetry if you want to show Look, that. Look, they gave you a JBL sound bar. Yep, show that cabinetry, That's please. Beautiful. Look very at that. Nice. Adjustable shelves. All the shelves in here are adjustable. And what I like about I this like TV that. placement is that it's directly across from the theater seats right there. Oh, so comfortable. Also, if you notice, even though they're theater seats, they still have seat belts yes. on this sofa and this sofa so you can safely and legally ride in it while driving down the road. Lots of cabinets in here, I Tons see. Tons of cabinets. Plenty of storage. Above the storage, yep. And you know what? I'm really liking that they gave you a standing table. Uh-huh. It gives you that elegant, luxury style look. Yep, and then if, in case you ever do have guests, this table oh. does pull out, and there is two foldable tables under the bed. Andrea, why don't you show the daytime shades and privacy shades? All right, so we have our daytime shades, MCD, MCD. Yep. and your privacy shades. Yep. Now, even though this motorhome has double sofa, you still get the fireplace right there under that nice piece of artwork. And what's great about that fireplace is it does run off electricity, so it will still heat the motorhome. And it does, it's a great source of energy as well. Yep. Check out the kitchen. You know, I really like this window. They gave you a nice panoramic window, beautiful backsplash, side splash. I like that a lot. I like the cabinetry. 
adjustable shelves. Oh, this is a peninsula, isn't it? It sure is. It's a full out oh. peninsula. Oh, <laughs> I like that. We got the drawers. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Whirlpool convection microwave. Nice. Let's see what we got here. We got the two burner induction cooktop. Beautiful. Very nice. And you know what? This is exciting to me. There's actually a dishwasher in here. Absolutely. To find a dishwasher in a motorhome at this price point Very rare. is insane. Yes. More cabinetry. We got the big farmhouse style sink. Yes, ma'am. Love that. And more storage under here. Absolutely. Let's see this pantry. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Nice pull-out pantry. Love it. And I love that you get the residential Whirlpool refrigerator in here. So you get that extra space for full timing. Absolutely. Don't have to go to the grocery store as much. Yep. And one Very thing nice. I would like to add when you're driving in the motorhome, yes. a lot of things do go swirling around. We got the locks. When you have these locks, it locks in the place and your food's not going to go flying out if you make a sharp turn. Let's check out this bathroom. All right. So this is, this is just the half bath. This is not the main bath. You have a nice little sink, little medicine cabinet right here for storage. You have this right here. Look at this. This is your breaker box and fuse boxes. I like how they leave it covered up. It gives it a classy, more elegant look. And then the toilet placement, you know, it's a porcelain toilet. And yeah, this is really comfortable, especially for a half bath, you know, and I know if this half bath's comfortable, the full bath in the back is even gonna, it's gonna be even more comfortable. Absolutely, and you know what? I love that here is the control panel, and you can control everything from right here. Your generator, your lights, check your tanks, and all that, so it makes it simple. Yes. I like the pocket door here on the bedroom. Yep, here in the bedroom area, you do have a nice king-size bed, tilt-a-view king bed. Also, there's switches underneath the bed, so if somebody's knocking on your door and you wanna hit the camera selector, it will show up on your television so you can see who's walking around your motorhome. That's and an awesome feature, Matt. Look at that storage. Wow, look at these wardrobes. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. Here, I'll open this one here so you guys can see. So you get double wardrobes. There's your extra two chairs. Oh yeah, I lied. I said it was under the bed. It was in the wardrobe. <laughs> and, and then look at this. You got tons of drawers and cabinetry. That's a great feature. Yes. Interesting. You know what? I, don't, I like what they did on the slide here. I have to point that out. This is interesting design. Yeah, for sure. Coming up into the master ba bathroom. Oh my gosh, Andrea. Oh. <laughs> I'm going in. She's going in. Look at this. This is great height. I have enough room. There's even a nice seat in here. Yeah. That I can actually sit down, you know, and don't have to stand. This is great. What else is great? I love this uh, sink area right here. You have your double sink, double medicine cabinets, double vanities and everything. I <laughs> can't get it open. And then you even have this storage right here. How did you open it? Just like this. Oh, geez. <laughs> Held with a magnet. Beautiful. Show what's underneath, please. They did a great job. Uh-huh. Lots of storage. And lots of drawers. Not only that, right over here, we have a nice angled of a toilet position. Porcelain toilet, plenty of space. I have all the space in the world to uh, get done. And then Andrea. Why don't you show that? What is this? Wow, stackable Whirlpool washer and dryer. I absolutely love that. Andrea. All the comforts of being at home in an RV. Absolutely, <laughs> and the inside features look amazing, but it looks even better on the outside. Let's go take a look. Can't wait. Matt, you know what? I really like the body paint on this motorhome. Yeah, it's a new redesigned paint look and I think it looks fantastic. Let's get started up front. Up front under the hood here, we're gonna have a Cummins Onan 8000 diesel generator. We have these nice big bus style mirrors. They are chrome and you have cameras in your left side, right side, and you do have a camera in reverse. Looks great. You do have this up front door and a new feature for 2020 that they implemented is this Freedom Bridge chassis. So what they did, they raised the underneath storage a little bit, and that's what makes the slide out nice, smooth, and level. It doesn't have those dip-ins from the slide out mechanism anymore. And then right here, you do have fuel fill up on both sides, 100 gallon fuel capacity, and check out these tires. 
There are the Michelins 275-80R22.5. Wow. Let's take a look at some of the storage. Beautiful. I love the doors on here. Great size. Yes, nice aluminum slam latch doors. Oh yeah, they got the tray. Yes, this is the Moride slide out tray. You can access this on both sides. It makes it really easy and nice to get your storage on either side. Great. Real nice to get it sliding in and out. Check out this TV. Oh yeah. Wow. That's Not, a great size. Yeah, nice LG TV on the outside. You can see it is frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. And then right over here, we have even more storage. Now, if you want to add a second slide out tray, you can do that on any Discovery LXE. Wow, that's good to know. More storage, look at this. Storage on a diesel pusher is incredible. Oh, wow. Yep. So here's your surge guard protector, some of your battery control center and everything. Also, we got a central back as well. Very nice. Also, I would like to add the nice chrome handles and nicely appointed finishes on the outside. OK, got some storage. Because you can never have enough. And then right there's your magnum inverter. That's going to run your refrigerator and everything. OK, a little bit more storage Again, in here. Again, utilizing every square inch. That's awesome. I can't tell you, when you go, when you downgrade to a motorhome, even one as big as this, every square inch counts. Absolutely. OK, coming around to the back, we got the hitch. Yes, 10,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 10,000 pounds. You have a nice rear cap. Again, I absolutely love the design. The paint job, the, the attention to detail makes this look like you're spending a million dollars on a motorhome. Backup camera there. Also, you have a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. OK, got some more. Oh, excellent. Look at all those batteries. Yep, plenty of batteries for this motorhome. Oh, forgot to mention, this motorhome has no propane on it at all. What? We will touch on that a little bit down the line. So it runs completely off of the Electric. battery and the batteries and the diesel fuel. Wow. Yep, here's where you fill up your DEF and you get even more batteries. This is my favorite. Oh, is this the wet bay? Sure oh, is. Oh, that's gorgeous. Nice, clean wet bay. Andre, pull out that power cord right there. Oh, it's on a reel. So these, pull, pull it all the way out. So these power cords get really heavy, OK? Yes, definitely. Especially in the cold. What I love, when you let it down, and imagine you have 50 foot of, or 25 foot of power cord, and when you're all done, you just push that button, and now you're ready to drive away. That's a great feature. It sure is. OK, we got the other side of the storage here. Yep, more storage on both sides. And then down here, this one, this is going to be your AquaHot 400D. This is what heats the motorhome. It's run off your diesel fuel. And this is the high-end feature. And it's what makes it so this motorhome does not need any propane at all. Wow, that's incredible. Yep. And to finish up, you have this. Just a little bit of your access panel and everything, your blinker fluid and everything. I am really impressed with this motorhome, Matt. It's a beautiful motorhome. Thank you so much, everybody, for checking in to the virtual RV show. Absolutely. Make sure you check out one of our 13 locations nationwide. We are running our show prices from now until the end of the month. And if you can't get here to check out the inventory, make sure you give General RV a call. Or check us out online at GeneralRV.com. Thanks so much for watching. Jake, back to you. Thanks, Matt and Andrea. Make sure you guys stay tuned for our next RV tour. We'll see you after this. Planning for your next family vacation? Enjoy a worry-free vacation by renting an RV from General RV Center, your premier rental partner. Our fleet of clean, non-smoking, current model year RVs can help take your family on the trip of a lifetime. Our friendly RV experts make the process simple. Once you've confirmed your reservation, we promise to have a clean and comfortable RV ready for you. We provide a comprehensive demonstration so you can travel with confidence. 
Plus, every RV includes full warranty coverage and a 24-hour support hotline for added peace of mind. Your adventure begins at General RV Center. Visit GeneralRV.com or call 888-548-9098 to speak to a rental expert. Welcome back guys. Looking for a medium sized travel trailer? Well Matt and Andre are getting ready to walk you through the brand new 2021 Keystone Outback. Thanks, Jake. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt. I'm Andrea. And today I'm super excited to be showing you the 2021 Keystone Outback Ultralight Model 291 UBH. Matt, this is a great floor plan. It's a lightweight travel trailer with high-end features. Exactly. Let's start on the inside and then we'll take a look at the outside. Great. Check this out, Matt. Oh yeah. I like the bathroom there. Yes. So this is a very interesting floor plan with what they're trying to accomplish. With the Outback Ultralight series, they're trying to stay under a certain weight. Dry weight on this trailer is 6,950 pounds. That's incredible. So with some of the higher end features, I'm really excited. Let's start in the bedroom. Sure. Okay, so we got a queen size bed. Queen size walk around bed. I like what they're doing with the light color cabinetry. And you got wardrobes on both sides. What would you consider this, like a beach look or something? Uh, yeah, I guess it's more like the farmhouse look. Yeah, okay, kind of farmhouse. I like how you have storage on this side and then do you know what that is? A laundry chute. That is so <laughs> cool. And, and do then, we have storage under here, Matt? Oh, oh, wow. We sure do. Oh, and then look, there's a crate. That's where you can put your puppy uh, while you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that to my puppy. Well, she's too big. But check out this door. Nice barn style door right there. I love the look of that. Yes. And the bathroom is really interesting. Check out how big the shower is. Very big shower. Very nice. You know, it Roomy. is It is kind of weird with this bathroom setup, but it's practical and it's big and spacious. I rather have a nice big spacious bathroom that you have to walk through to get to the bedroom rather than them trying to shove it all in a corner and not having space. I agree. You have a toilet right here. That's it is a porcelain toilet. And again, big bathroom. I have plenty of space and I'm comfortable. And then you have your sink and medicine cabinet right up here. Wow, I tell you, I'm really impressed. Yep. Let's check out the living room area. Nice. Look at this. Or the kitchen. Okay, I'm gonna start over here in the kitchen. Yep. I am really excited about this. I see the extra extension here for more counter space. That's mm -hmm. great. We got a cabinet up here. We got a nice rectangle sink here. Mm -hmm. Cabinet underneath. And Matt, I think I forgot. Are there drawers on the other side? There sure is. We have, wow, four drawers. Wow. Big drawers. Storage on the other side of this. And another drawer right here. That's incredible storage. Okay, let's see. They have a little microwave here. We got a three burner Furion cooktop, and they gave you a Furion oven. Wow. That's great. Let's see, we got a Dometic two-way refrigerator. Now this runs off your shore power and your propane. Yep, two-way fridge, propane, and electric. And then right over here is the dinette area. 
Look at this. I like what they did this with the tabletop. This is a new look. Very nice. It's kind of matching this farmhouse theme. Very comfortable dinette. You have your privacy blinds right here. And then look how many windows there are. It's open and airy, and I really like this. And this drops down to make a bed as well. I believe it yes, does. Yes, it does. Yep. Fantastic. Sure does. And then check out this living room. A lot of times in a travel trailer this size and light, you're forced oh. to watch the TV sideways where this, you have theater seats. Comfortable. Thomas Payne collection. And we're looking directly at the television I love right it. there. Look at this cabinetry up here. More, more storage space. And we got some cabinets underneath. It does come with a radio and Blu-ray. Very nice, Matt. And you know what's great about this? What's that? You got books for your children or guests. We'll show them. Look at this. Has a pocket door here. Now, these bunks will hold 150 pounds. Well, the so top one will. Oh, yeah, the bottom holds 300. Absolutely. Wow, okay. I see there is cabinets up here. Yep. And we got the drawers here. Mm-hmm. And it has a ladder as well. What I like about this little bunk room, Andrea, is when, when people are looking for a bunkhouse travel trailer, 30% of their RV is dedicated to that bunkhouse. Yes. Where this, this is for the person who wants to bring their kids sometimes, or maybe their grandkids, but the grandkids aren't going with them all the time. And so you shut this off and you're only losing 10% exactly. of your travel trailer space. So you can still get all this living area. And it's great because you know these bunks are bigger. They're not the yes. small skinny ones. The doubles over doubles. Well, the inside of this travel trailer looks great, but it looks even better on the outside. Let's go take a look. All right. Okay. I really like the awning. Yes, nice power awning. Goes almost the whole length of the travel trailer. And I would like to mention these Lipper component solid steps are new and they're great. They're very sturdy when we're walking in and out of the travel trailer. Because this is an Outback, we do have the Arctic Barrier Package, good for four seasons. But Andrea, do you know what I mean when I say four seasons? Yes. <laughs> At, for, I always, when I say four seasons, I mean four seasons with an asterisk, as in you can't go to Alaska in the winter. Right. So, you know, it depends on how four seasons your four seasons are. Great. Up, up front here, we have a nice fiberglass front cap. Outback Ultralight, it's big, bold, this is painted and you do have these LED light strips right here. We do have a power tongue jack right here. And Andre, do you know what the hitch weight is? 655 pounds. Yes, vertical hitch weight. Always make sure you get weight distribution bars when you guys are looking at travel trailers. It just makes it easier and safer for you to tow. Absolutely. Propane right here. And then you have a nice black diamond rock guard right here. Now Matt, this does have a kitchen. I can't wait to see that on the outside. Yep, but before we do, we have nice storage pass through and it is held up by a magnet. You know what this is? That is your power stabilizing jack. Absolutely, when you get to the campground and you unhitch this, all you do when you're level, you push that down and it will stabilize the whole travel trailer. Oh Matt, it does have outdoor speakers as well. Not only that, you can have a TV on the outside. You have power and cable hookup right there. Awesome. Now show everybody what you're oh, excited about. This is what I'm excited about. Look at this. Wow. Yep, nice little stove top right here. Two burner cooktop. It's a little outside kitchen. It's really great. You also have a fridge here. Again, with this travel trailer, they are trying to stay under 6,950 pounds. So it's great that you even had that option. I agree. And then this awning right here, if the wind starts to blow too hard or if it rains, you can do what's called pinching the awning to make it angle from one end to the other. Wow. Coming around the back, we have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. What's that, Andrea? Storage. Little bit of storage right there. Wow, I'm impressed with that. Spare tire with carrier, prep for a backup camera, and we do have a one-piece TPO roof. Coming around the side, it is a 50-amp travel trailer, so that's your power cord right there. And you got your water heater? Yep. Okay. Here's our hookups. Very nice, clean, and easy to get to. I love that it has outdoor shower. Yep, so if you like to go to the beach, you can shower off before coming into the travel trailer so sandy. There's your black tank 
down there. Yep, that's where you dump your black and gray tank. Easy to get to. And then right up there is your black tank flush to help clean out your black tank. And then you do have your city water connection and fresh water connection. You fill up the city if you're at the campground and the fresh water if you plan on going boondocking. And then to wrap it all up, there's the other side of that nice pass-through storage. Thank you everybody for checking in to the virtual RV show. Yes, we're doing the show from now until the end of the month. So make sure you stop into one of our 13 stores nationwide. And if you can't get into the General RV stores, make sure you give us a call at General RV. Or check us out online at GeneralRV.com so you can see all our inventory and so specials. Thanks so much for watching. Jake, back to you. Thanks, Matt and Andrea. Make sure you guys stay tuned for our next RV tour. We'll see you after this. Designed specifically for the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis, the Winnebago Vita is more than best in class. It's simply in a class all its own. The Vita combines Winnebago's legendary build quality, plenty of useful storage with best in class features and a spacious interior. The Winnebago Vita's cab extends well-appointed comfort and convenience. The Bluetooth enabled radio rear view monitor system an iPod MP3 input contributes added safety and support. At your destination, swivel the cab seats toward the lounge for additional seating. No matter what's on the menu, the Vita's galley makes preparation easy. The three burner range and microwave convection oven handle the cooking, while the large double sink with cover cutting board simplifies prep and cleanup. With a double door refrigerator freezer, pantry and lighted spice rack, all your ingredients are within reach while a panoramic galley window adds natural light, letting you soak in your surroundings. Customizable cabinets can be adjusted to fit your storage needs. The Vita's bed is the largest in its class. Above the bed is a shelf with convenient 110 volt and USB power outlets. The bath includes a medicine cabinet, powered roof vent, toilet with hand flush, and a full shower with skylight, flexible shower head, and retractable self-cleaning shower screen. The overhead Super Shell Sleeper Deck provides a comfortable place to rest, while the dinette folds down to reveal additional sleeping space. Unwind after a busy day by watching a movie on the 32-inch HDTV. A powered patio awning with LED lighting enhances your outdoor area. There's even a pet leash hook. At the rear of the coach is a backup camera, a trailer hitch, and 7-pin connector for towing up to 5,000 pounds. On the driver's side exterior, you'll find a 3600 watt Cummins Onan Micro Quiet LP generator, as well as black tank flush valves. No small detail was overlooked in the Vita's design. And if you want to go boondocking, the pre-wired 200 watt solar energy system gets the job done. It is even expandable, up to 475 watts for longer off-the-grid adventures. Other key features are more than 40 cubic feet of exterior storage and the largest holding tanks in its class. The Winnebago Vita makes the most of its compact design with sleek styling, functional design elements, and smartly crafted storage spaces. Winnebago has been a trusted name for high-quality motorhomes since 1958. To learn more, visit our website at generalrv.com or call us at 888-436-7578 to speak with one of our Winnebago specialists. General RV Center, the nation's largest family-owned RV dealer. Hey, welcome back everyone. Up next, Matt and Andre are gonna be walking us through the 2021 Thor Venetian F42, Class A diesel. Thanks, Jake. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt. I'm Andrea. And today, I'm super excited to be showing you the 2021 Thor Venetian model F42. Matt, I think we should take a look at the interior first. Why? I heard there's some new changes on the cabinetry, so I'm super excited. Absolutely. It does look great. So let's start on the inside, then we'll take a look at the outside. Oh, wow, Matt. You know what? 
The cabinets have changed. Yes. It's 20... got that matte look. It's it's the matted look, yes. 2021, Thor did a complete redesign of the interior of the Venetian product. And it they went from the high gloss to the matted look. And it looks so good. I'm really excited for us to take a look at it. But Andrea, with it being a diesel pusher, we got to start up front first. Absolutely. So up front here, this is powered. This has a 400 horsepower Cummins engine. Sits on a Freightliner chassis with a 3000 transmission. And you do have the new digital dash with the push button start. Andrea, do you notice anything new and different about this front cockpit area? Absolutely. I look, have never seen this before. Look at this. Nice big screen. The biggest screen in the industry with navigation. Look, you can even see the dimensions of your motorhome. And this is going to be great when you're driving down the road trying to navigate. You don't want to be looking at a tiny screen like this. You want to look at a huge screen so you can see where you're going and you can get to the campground safely. Definitely. Andrea, how's that seat? It's really comfortable. Fully powered seat. It does recline and it does swivel to become part of the living area. It's a footrest here. It sure <laughs> does. Up front here, we do have a Samsung television. Matt, did they always have a, a bunk over the cab here? No, that's a new feature that they've only incorporated over the last couple of years. It is a nice Euroloft bunk over the cab. And do you know how much weight it holds? I would say maybe 500 pounds. Well, yeah, because there's a sticker right there that looks <laughs> 500 pounds. But yes, nice 500 pounds. You have the ladder right up here. It is a comfortable mattress. And at the end of the day, it is only for guests. That's a great feature that they added. Look at this living area. I know. So I love much that. seating. I know you get a, what is this, the chase lounge? A chase lounge, yeah. Wow. I love it. The chase lounge is one of my favorites. You have a Sony TV on a televator, and it does raise up and down. And then you have a JPL sound bar right there. Why don't you show everybody the theater seats while this yes. is coming down? This is fantastic. I am amazed with all this seating. It's super comfortable, everybody. Um, I'm liking here they gave you the slow rise shade. You got your privacy shade and your daytime shade. Yep. And look at this cabinetry. Beautiful job. Hidden hinge cabinetry yes. at that. Lots of space here, as you can see. Absolutely. And now that you can see that the TV's down, look at this nice, incredible windows you have. So if you're at the mountains or the beach, you have a good view of what's going on. Absolutely. And then, don't think with the chase that they took away from the dinette. Because, Andrea, look at this. This is one of the most comfortable dinettes, you know, quite frankly, to be honest with everybody, I have plenty of gut space, and that's important. Definitely. If you're spending this type of money on a motorhome, you don't want to be eating at a dinette where you're suffocating. This is great. It's nice and spacious. and Solid surface. Yes, absolutely. It's the same material as the uh, kitchen counter. More storage. Yep, lots more storage. And this does drop down to make an extra sleeping area, and there is cup holders right there. That's great. Check out this kitchen. Yes. Wow. I am loving the changes. Check out the backsplash, really pretty. Adjustable shelves. Yep, very nice. And Matt, look, I guess you get a peninsula here. Let me see how this works. Oh, oh, wow. Pull out peninsula. Look at these drawers. Yep. Oh my goodness. Plenty of extra counter space. Uh-huh. Let's see, I love that there's a window here. Such an important to have that natural light. Very nice, and check out, you do have a Big sink there, double sink. Right here, you do have a tower of power for your coffee pots and machines. And let's see what's under here. Oh, they did the tray. Very nice. I like that feature. Another thing I, I really like about RVs is when I see the lights underneath, mm -hmm. I feel like it gives it that extra ambiance. Yes. You got a convection microwave and a two burner induction cooktop. Yes. Very nice. What about the backsplash? I think it looks great. I do. I like it. I like the backsplash. I'm glad that they did that. You got drawers yes. underneath. Drawers for days. <laughs> drawers for days. Plenty of storage. And you get a residential refrigerator. Whirlpool. And don't worry, guys. It does have a lock on it. So when you are driving, you don't need to worry about everything flying out. Yep. Now, Andrea, this is... Oh, almost forgot to oh, touch yeah. on the fireplace. Now, because this is a 42-foot motorhome, we do have a bath and a half. So let's take a look at this half bath. Wow. Very nice. Good sink area. You have some storage right here. Okay, very nice. 
This toilet, Andrea, is an electric flush. What? Very what? nice. Nice porlin. Again, little tight. It's okay. It's the half bath. And the electric flush is back there for you to flush. Wow. So that really, if it's, uh, you know, it, it, if you're boondocking, okay? If you're boondocking. If you're doing a number one, you do the light flush. And if it's a solid, then you do the heavy flush. That's really going to save your water when you're yes. boondocking. Because if you're out in the middle of nowhere, you only have so much water. That is a really nice feature. Oh, and I forgot the pantry. <laughs> I did not see that here. But check this out. That's great. And it locks into space. I mean, locks in here. So yes. you don't have to worry about it flying out. Yep. Right here, we do have your stackable washer dryer in the bedroom. Nice. Very nice feature. Is that Whirlpool? Yes. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> Got a lot more storage in here, Andrea. The storage is phenomenal. Matt, I have to say, and maybe the detail on this entertainment area, it's different than what I've seen before. Yeah. Because it's usually in more in the slide. It looks really good like that. Yep. You have a nice fan above. And look at that. Adjustable shelves for your clothes and everything. And then you do have some storage hidden behind the television. Wow. And look, there's a little secret compartment back there. Yep, and DVD players. Okay. So that's an access panel. Right. But again, I like how they cover that. So uh, it's not just exposed. OK, so we have a tilt-a-view bed. King size bed, tilt-a-view. Very comfortable, and there is storage above. Wow. I really like this modern look. Yep, it's modern, it's new, it's refreshing. Look at this bathroom. Wow. I'm glad they did the pocket doors. Yes. Wow, look at the shower. Yeah, it's a one-piece shower with a sink in it. Very nice. Very I love that there's a seat here. Mm -hmm. Great height in here, you guys. Yes. Right over here, you have your dual sinks. You have plenty of storage and medicine cabinets in here. It is super nice. Andre, what's that right there? Probably for your linens. Oh, yeah. It's got a drawer here on a slide. That's a great feature. And then plenty of storage underneath. Wow. And you get drawers here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Matt, look, we missed this. Oh, another tower of power in the bathroom. I love that. Right there, we have another drawer, another drawer. Access to your engine right there. And then right here, look at this. We have another porcelain toilet at a beautiful angle. Again, it's going to make doing what you're doing nice, easy, and comfortable. And I really love it. Well, Andrea. The new interior features of this Venetian is beautiful, and I love it. But the outside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Perfect. OK. Great. Let's get started up front. Andrea, the new Thor Venetian looks great. I love the headlights and the LED light design. There is a generator under the driver's hood and the engine's in the back. That's why they call it a diesel pusher. It is a Cummins Onan 10,000 generator. Right up front here is your nice bus style mirrors. I like how they're chrome and I like how they incorporate the cameras on your left mirror, right mirror, also reverse. You know what, Matt? I really like that they gave you the Gerard awning over the door. Yeah, door awning so you're not going to get wet. Also, they did a Gerard awning over the slide out. That awning is armless and it does have a wind sensor. Do you know what that means? Does that mean when it gets really windy, it'll automatically go back in? Absolutely. Fantastic so, feature. Nothing to worry about there. Let, look at these tires. Andre, wow. something I want to touch about. These are the Michelin's 295-80R22.5. It's more rubber that's going to be on the road. OK. Let's check out the storage. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice aluminum slam latch doors. I absolutely love that. Let's see this one. Oh, it's got the tray. Yes, Moride slide out tray. Makes it easy to get to. And you can get this tray on one side or the other. It comes out both ways. And then when you're done, you just slide it back in and it locks into place. Nice. And more storage. Absolutely. And if somebody wants that additional Moride slide out tray, you can get it added to this motorhome. OK, let's see what's in here. OK, we got our potable. Potable water. This has some of the highest potable water tanks in the industry for a motorhome this size. And again, 
That's going to be great for when you're boondocking and you have that toilet where you can serve water. Exactly. Very nice. Now, because this motorhome is over 40 feet long, we do have the tag axle. Very nice feature, high end, you know, 42 feet long. Really nice. Okay. Watch your head for tall people. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yep, so you, as you can see, there is solar on the roof. Here's some of your solar charger panels, your magnum inverter, and a battery disconnect switch. Just so everybody knows, this does have a one-piece fiberglass roof with not one, not two, but three air conditioning units. Wow. And a little bit Batteries. of a nook right there. Battery. Okay, coming around to the back. Yes, this has a 10,000 pound hitch, Andrea, and this motorhome can tow a true 10,000 pounds, which is awesome. The 400 Cummins. Backup camera up there, and I, I just love the design. I do too, it looks fantastic. Perfect. All right, coming around the side, more battery. Yes. Andrea, this motorhome does not have any propane. These batteries in the diesel uh, engine is what powers this whole thing. Wow. And the generator, of course. Right over here is your exhaust fluid for DEF. Okay. Okay, and this is the other side of the storage. Nope. Oh, nope, that's the wet, the wet bay. <laughs> yes, and you've seen those nice power cords. It also has a power fresh water hose. Wow. So when you're at the campsite and you're all done with your motorhome, all you do is push a button and it will reel itself all the way in. That is really a great feature. There's the other side of the storage. Ah, and there's the power cord. I love that. So look, these power cords are big and heavy, right? And when you're all done with it, all you got to do is push this button and it will uh, retract. retract itself all the way in. This is real great for cold climate weather because those 50 amp power cords get very heavy. Uh, yeah, definitely when it's freezing. Yep. There's the other side of that storage. Very nice Morai tray and again, the slide comes on both sides. I really like that. Yep. Okay. This is storage, and let's see what's up here. Yep, just some of your fluids for the engine and everything, your hydraulic leveling. And good point to touch on, here's another fuel fill up, so you can get it on both sides. So when you go to gas stations that are small, it doesn't matter if you're filling up for the left side or right side, or if you're at one of those fancy gas stations, you can fill up two sides at one time, <laughs> because this is a 100 gallon fuel tank. Wow. I am really impressed with this, Matt. Yes. Thank you everybody for checking in to the virtual RV show. Absolutely, we're running this show from now until the end of the month. So make sure you stop into one of our 13 locations nationwide. And if you can't stop into one of our general RV locations, make sure you give us a call. Or check us out online at generalrv.com for all show prices and availabilities. Jake, back to you. Thanks Matt and Andrea. What a gorgeous motorhome. Make sure you guys continue to tune in for our next RV tour. We'll see you after this. Who knew buying an RV could be so simple? We were just browsing our computer thinking about how to spend the summer. When an ad caught our attention, the great outdoors is calling. Sounds good. We clicked on it and discovered General RV, the premier RV dealer, over 6,000 RVs, 13 super centers. Soon we were in their virtual showroom. With all the videos and 3D tours, it felt like we were inside the RVs. Wow, wow, wow. What does this do? This is amazing. I wonder if it's gas or diesel. That's a great question. This coach is a diesel, but if you're looking for gas, I have plenty of other options to show you. Plus, we offer home, home delivery. delivery. How could this get any easier? This RV is perfect for us. We were ready to start our RV adventure. So, so we, we did. did. And sure enough, our new RV was in our driveway in no time. After our personalized RV demo, we were handed the keys and ready to go camping. Who knew buying an RV could be so simple?
Hey everybody, welcome back. If you haven't gotten down to your local General RV Center, you still got time. We've got RV show prices running all month long. For now, Matt and Becky are gonna walk us through the 2021 Thor Sequence 20L. Have fun. Thanks, Jake. Hey guys, it's Matt and Becky out here at the Virtual RV Show. I'm gonna jump right into it. We got behind us a Thor Sequence 20L. I'm gonna let Becky just start into it right now. Becky, how right. are you? Good, how are you? Good, great. Good. Let's do it. All right, let's go in and check it out. So this is the 2021 Thor Sequence. This is gonna be your Class B motorhome. Um, this is gonna be, it's just a, a van converted on the inside to a motorhome. So you have a place to sleep, a place to use the bathroom, and a place to make a sandwich. And that's basically everything that's in the van. It's a great Very, size. It's a perfect size. It fits in a grocery store parking lot, your mall parking lot, anywhere you want to go, your regular driveway, anywhere you want to park this van. So it looks very easy to drive, very similar to almost car-like on the inside. This so just a, first just timers, it'd be an easy transition to, to, to drive it and take it out wherever you want to go, right? Absolutely. It's about the size of like an F-150, maybe about a little bit longer. And I don't, everything I see in here looks like everything you'd see in a, in a regular, bigger, larger motorhome. Absolutely. We're Absolutely. not really missing a beat. So tell me what else we have in here that, that, are, that make it feel like home. So you have your galley-style kitchen right here. Um, you do have a two-burner cooktop. Yep. Um, you have your sink, so you I have hot and cold water in here. Hot and cold water in there. Absolutely. Uh, you have a nice little fridge here. And um, how do I power the fridge? Tiny freezer. So you do have an onboard generator. Okay. Comes with an onboard generator. Also, if you were at a campground, you would just plug into shore power, and that would provide power for your entire coach. But it also comes with a house battery. So your house battery also does provide power to some of the power sources inside this coach. So essentials, lights, there's an inverter I think I see on here too, so that'll power my microwave and a couple other items, correct? Yes, that Great. is correct. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I like this actually, what you're leaning yeah, on. Show it to me. It's really cool because you have a nice handle getting in and out. See that. But also, so if these seats do swivel and turn around, so if you were using this and you were working on the road and you wanted a little place where you could sit, and you can put your computer and you could work here. And then it does come with plugs down here. So you do have two USB plugs and also just one ten plugs right here. Two. Correct. Perfect. Yep. And you're talking about working. I'm thinking about eating because I'm always thinking about food. Yep. Great place to eat too, right? This is also a nice place to eat, but there are tables that come and you can put them in the middle of your two beds here or day couches. Yeah. And then you can eat there as well. Great. That's Plenty of options. options. And that's Lots easy. Options. Flips up, okay. comes out, tucks away. That's it. And it's really not in the way. It doesn't obstruct anything when you're getting in and out of it. Nope. Great feature. Absolutely. What else do we have? Um, it's I do hot. Like this oh. too, because it does come with a couple of dog bowls. What a great idea. You don't need it, just take it out. What a great idea. Um, so you have two storage, just a little one down here. Okay. Anywhere you can find storage in a Class B, they like to utilize that because they are small um, and you don't have exterior storage on the, on the B vans. Okay. 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 Um, now these are going to be, this is your bed, but this is also your day lounger as well. You can use this in sitting in a few different ways. You could use this and you could sit just like this. Use your little cup holder and put your feet up, right? Comfortable. Or I could put my back here and lounge this lounge way, out. right? So you have different options. At least you could sit on the other side. Most people sit on this side because this is your campsite. That's where you're going to be looking out but also this is in place of where your, your TV is in viewing. And it looks like this TV can swivel out too. Like it does, see. yeah. If you pull that. Yep, right here. And then swivel it, you can actually swivel this do it. right outside. So if you were tailgating and you wanted to watch some sort of game outside, you could do that as what well. What a great feature. Mm -hmm. And then also for the front two seats, you could also do it when they're turned around, correct? Absolutely. Great, perfect. Mm -hmm. So sleeping options. So do I just have two beds there or do I have an option somehow to make one big bed? This does make into one big bed if you wanted to. Most of my customers that buy this do leave it as two twin beds because it's a lot easier to get out in the middle of the night to use your restroom. I can understand that, yeah. Yes. And I see a couple of, was that USB outlets there on the bottom too, so if I need to charge anything. Yep, there are, there is USB over here, so you know, while you're sleeping in the bed, obviously you'd have power source as well. And you'd, you have another power here. 
I can't believe how much headroom there is in here too. There's plenty of headroom, even if I walk under the air conditioning unit, right. which is surprising. Yeah, I mean, I'm 5'10", and I still have plenty of headspace here. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, big windows. I think one of the big things in here too, I noticed when we were walking up to it is, even if I shut the door, I can see all the way around the coach. It's really which nice. is really nice. So it brings kind of that outside feel inside for the most part. And that one looks like it opens too, correct? Correct, it does open and it has a screen. Great and feature. And then you have another one that opens over here with the screen. And then this door behind you does have a big screen as well. So if you were going to use that, obviously you could close this. Every window could be open and you would have a, a screen on it. Keep all your bugs out. Awesome. All right, so I've seen everything so far. I got a galley, I got places to sit, sleep, air. And I know it's got a heater on there. Where's my bathroom? Right in the back. Let's take a look at all it. All right. So here's your restroom. This is what they call an all-in-one. Now, when I use this type of a bathroom, um, it is obviously a little bit smaller. So I have found it's really easy if I'm going to be going to be using a shower or trying to wash my hair, I actually just sit on the toilet and then take my shower this way. So I'm not standing up. You can, there is a curtain. So you can pull this closed and you can stand up and take a shower. For me, I'm tall. It's just easier for me to sit down and wash my hair and, and myself. And if you need privacy from your significant other and or pets, <laughs> you can just shut this close them out. Both of them. Yes. Then you have, I love this. For me as a woman with stuff, I need a place for all of my stuff. So to have a nice big wardrobe hanging space is amazing with two drawers. And then you have another, their vanity back here Behind. also can do some storage here as well. And then here is your pull down sink. That was my next question. Where's our sink at? There is your sink. And that's, yeah, and it empties right on the back, right? Correct. So and very then it simple, goes to a very tank. easy. Exactly. Goes in the tank. Yep. And you have everything in here. I know you mentioned storage was a big thing in these. It's very tight, and you have plenty of storage in here too. Obviously, these cabinets and everything can can you close them off so they don't get wet. Correct. correct? Yep. But other than that, it's a full wet bath. A absolutely. Everything's in here. Yep. There's a vent up top. Great. What else? There is. If you want to come out this way, so I like the rear bath option because you can go out the side door and you can actually walk right out the back door too. So the sequence itself comes standard with solar. It also comes standard with this Thule um, ladder. This ladder is, you can take it off and you can put it on its magnet. It goes right on the outside of the, of the coach. You can put it anywhere because there is a luggage rack up there. Okay. So if you wanted to put a kayak up there or a paddle board, you can put it up there, but it makes it really difficult when the ladder is stationary to the back of the door. Yeah. So now you can move this ladder anywhere and it's collapsible folds right here. I didn't even think about that. So if you have a ladder that's fixed somewhere else on a different model, you can only limit it to that specific section. And of course, these B-Vans, you don't have a whole lot of room to walk around and get around on top. Exactly. What a genius idea. Yeah, I love this. Uh, this is this is great. So you do have out here too, you're going to have, it's prepped for a back, or it has backup camera already um, wired in. See that, yep. Uh, you do have an exterior spray port. So if you wanted to spray off your dog or your shoes, whatnot, you could do that as well. I see the uh, nice little power. storage area underneath there. It looks like the little, shower's there. Yep, little storage area and then there another too. 110 outlet, 12-volt plug-in outlet here. Mm -hmm. Some and, extra storage packets. Okay. So that's really the back of it here. Um, we can do some features on the outside as well. What is that? So I see here. This is going to be your two-person bike rack. This is also standard. This is part of that Thule package. So this comes with your, your van. You can leave it on. You can take it off. Um, some of my customers do decide to take this off. Uh, nice. Over so here, have a hitch oh, too, you case. do have a hitch, yes. Okay. 3,500 pounds is what that hitch is rated for. Great, great. All right, I love the bike rack. Great that you can take it off. What other features should I know about on the outside? So on this side, this is gonna be your campsite. You do have um, a couple more power sources here, yep. right? 110 outlets, great. Correct, satellite for your exterior TV if you wanted to. Obviously you can maneuver that one outside, but you can you know, hook this one up as well. Is that for my grill? This is for your exterior awesome. grill. So this is tied to your built-in propane tank. Okay. So you don't have to bring a separate tank with you. That's and convenient. And you can do cooking out here. My favorite part is probably this 12-foot built-in integrated awning with LED lights to it. 12 feet. 12 feet. That's literally the whole length of this coach, right? Well. Almost. Almost. Pretty so much. So how do you put it out? It's power. So you just hit a button. 
So everything's in here. This is gonna be on your Firefly system. And then you hit a button and it just goes out. One touch. One touch. Let it go. Let it go. And that's it. And then the LED light strip, you can turn it on, turn it off. And it comes out quite a bit. I'm shocked it's still coming out. And one touch to go right back in. Simple as that. That's it. And it looks like when it was closed earlier, I could still have these lights on and they'd still work, right? Mm -hmm. Whether it's closed or open. Correct. So I still have that exterior lighting. If I didn't, I don't want to put my awning out. Right. Very nice. All right, Becky, thanks for showing us around this sequence. I'm happy we got an opportunity to do so. That'll wrap it up for here today at the Virtual RV Show. Got to let you guys know, too, our show prices are going on all month long right now. So come on in, get on down one of your local general RVs. We have 13 super centers across the nation. And if for whatever reason you can't make it there, check us out online at generalrv.com. That's it, guys. Jake, back to you. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you guys for joining our first day of the General RV 2020 Virtual RV Show. Make sure you tune in on Thursday for more exclusive RV tours. If you haven't yet, go to our Facebook and like the page or subscribe to our YouTube for real-time updates. We'll see you on the lot.